How's it going guys? Sam back with you with another painted 3D tutorial for you today. Today we're going to be going over some common state changes within painted 3D and common state changes for objects loaded in painted 3D. And so let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing we're going to we're going to do everything in the uh, init uh, in the init method today just cuz it makes it simpler. We're not doing very much today. Uh, so let's go ahead and load up a model. So we'll do self.ttc. We'll load up Two Town Central is equal to self dot self dot loader dot load model and it's in phase underscore 15 slash hood hood slash tune I can't type there tune town central all right and now to put this onto the actual game we want to do self dot ttc dot reparent to self.render self.render and I'm just going to explain this real quick um, if we were to omit this line so let's go ahead and make a hashtag right there if we were to omit this line from the program right now if we were to run this self.ttc has no parent and then when we add this line in we are giving it giving this object a parent which is self.render which puts it onto the graph and I'm just going to run this for you real quick to show you that it actually is there as you can see loads up perfectly woo woo TTC you've seen that 20 million times alright now we're actually going to get into the manipulation of objects so um, one very common thing to you can do with objects is you set the scale which basically just sets the size so I'm going to show you what one looks like so there's one right there as you can see there's trees and all that I'm going to put it at five now as you can see, well, you can't really tell. I mean, it's hard to tell, but like, I'm zooming out a ton right now. Like, I'm doing a lot of work just to zoom out compared to when I'm doing one and it takes a few clicks to zoom out. So that's really the only way I can show you like that. Another way, another thing you can do is you can set the position of things. It's also a very common thing. So we'll do set position. Uh, we'll set it. We'll set it at uh, zero 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 right now. And then so we'll set it at zero zero zero. As you can see, there's trees right there. Yada yada yada. And this x value is left and right. The y value is up and down. Z value is also up and down. It's also in and out. I don't know. It's a weird concept. The z the z direction is. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you how these work. So I'm gonna put this 30. Put the x value at 30. As you can see, we shifted to the left. Or we actually, we haven't shifted to the left. Actually, yes, we have. I'm so stupid. The set position command actually just moves your camera. So the camera in the game has moved to the left. Uh, 30 units. I'm not sure what the unit is. And uh, I'm gonna put this back at zero. Let's see. So when we change the y value, when we change the y value. As you can see, it didn't. It moved a little bit, if you could tell. Um, I'm gonna show you one more time at the original spot. It's a little bit farther back. I'm not sure if you guys can tell that, so I'm gonna put this back at zero. But it did move back it's because in this view right here, when we did not set the position, we, we, we did not change the default position. You can't see the headquarters, but when you put 30 right here or 300. Up. So anyway, you guys get the point. So basically this Y value for Panda 3D is moving forward and backward. At least that's how I perceive it. Um, I might I might be wrong on that, but that's just how I perceive it and that's how I've used it in programs. So let's go ahead and move, change this Z value. And I'll show you guys what this does for you guys. As you can see, this moves you guys up and down. So, so changing the Z value move you up and down, changing the X value move you left to right, and changing the Y value move you forward and backward. I'm gonna put this at zero. So we can have the defaults. Another thing you can do is set the um, you can set the heading, pitch, and roll, which are the angles of the camera. And it's also commonly referred to as uh, HPR. It's just angles, so you can change the angle that your camera is viewing it at. This will uh, flip everything up or, or turn you around backwards. So you basically the camera did a 180 and it's now looking behind you. Um, that's the H value. The, or the heading value actually I, t to be honest I just learned that they stood for heading pitch and roll today when I was researching some of this stuff and so yeah 
there's some pretty cool things online so if you you guys have any questions be sure to, you can always ask me but you can always look them up on google as well google is a very helpful search engine when you have questions all right so this p value let's put this on 180 I'll show you what this does what show you what this does for you as you can see we flipped upside down and we're still looking forward because you can see the, the trees right there we, we just flipped upside down as you can see this cool view of everything oh hello all right and let's change this uh r value show you what this does for you as you can see we have uh tilted upside down again but um when you change one of these to 90 so let's change the r to 90 as you can see we're slanted to the left we're, we're slanted to the left and then let's change this to 90 and this back to zero or zero zero this one we are physic this is okay this is a hard concept to explain but I'm gonna try my best so the P value it's um, uh, it's physically moving the camera and an emotion such as this so pretend my mouse cursor is the camera it's moving it like this actually moving the camera and then when you're using R it just changes the angle I think I don't know it's not I don't think that's a good explanation so I apologize but yeah just know it works just know how this stuff works so um, another thing this is may not be as commonly known but you can set uh, these values separately or self dot you can sell, set these uh, values separately so if you want to set the uh, say the x value set x at 30 and as you as we saw earlier when we're setting the position just changes the x value you can also do that with x or you can do it with y z h p and r if you want to change all those separately or you could set everything together including the scale so you could do set um let's go set position see, position h p r scale and this is just putting everything all in one big jumble so this will be your x value, this will be your y value, this will be your z value, this will be h, this will be p, this will be r, this will be the uh, scale of your x, this will be the scale of your y, and this will be the scale of your z. And uh, if you want to do this all at one time, feel free to. It saves a little bit of like bytes on your size of files. But I tend to use this way just because it's cleaner. Uh, it's not as messy or jumbled in my mind. It's just preference. I'm going to I'm going to hyphen this out though for when we run the program. All right. So um, another thing you can do if you guys have the Tinker program installed, you can do self.tcc.place, and what this does, it'll pull up a GUI menu in your game, or sometimes it goofs up. It was working for me earlier. Uh, it's not working for me now. It seems like I don't know. It's just randomly on and off. Uh, so yeah. Try that out on your own. If you can get it to work, it's a very useful tool. You can position it within the GUI it gives you. If you can't get it to work, uh, I'm, I apologize. And I honestly don't know how to fix it. So yeah, I apologize. So I'm gonna go ahead and hype this out for you. So I had a question on YouTube on my uh, episode seven keyboard events uh, from a user called FK Fallen. And he asked me to dive deeper into managing models. And he said, for example, he wanted me to go into uh, the sky, TT Sky. And so I'm going to go do that for you guys real quick. And this also leads into another thing I have with um, common state changes. So let me do this. Hold on one second. All right. So let's go ahead and load up the sky. So self.sky is equal to self.loader.loadmodel. And we'll do phase underscore 10 3.5 and 3.5 slash model slash props slash tt underscore sky dot uh, we don't need dot bam um okay so you have it loaded and like we did earlier we're going to repair it to the screen we're going to give it a parent and the parent will be self dot render all right so i'm going to go ahead and run this for you real quick as you can see there's a sky right there but what is you guys see that gray stuff back there yeah uh, 
That's not in the original Toon that's not in the Toontown game. So uh, you're probably wondering how to get rid of that. And I have an answer for you, but just one second, I want to see you show you guys the sky is there. And uh, if you were to look at it from a Toons point of view, so let's get down here. Toons point of view, you'd see you'd see the sky, but it's that ugly grayness right there. You don't want that grayness in the background. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set that. So there's a thing called self that or there's a thing called set transparency transparency and um, messing when I was messing around with this earlier you can use numbers but uh, I found it better but um, I didn't really I don't know how to explain it I didn't really get a good grip with numbers um, that's not the way the uh, I learned it or the manual teaches it and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a whole different thing which and you need to import something up here to do this so let's do panda from panda 3d dot core and then we'll just put import and asterisk we're gonna import everything and um, so go down to set transparency right here and in these parameters we're going to put transparency parency dot attribute transparency attrib dot m binary and then we're going to put a comma one and then once you run this as you can see the ugly grayness is gone it's very smooth in the background everything looks beautiful it looks like TTC it looks like just in the old days and now I'm gonna show you a different way some there's other few th other few things you can do there's like M alpha um, that doesn't really work as well in my mind see it gives you like a little grain like grainy in the background and like a dark border on it I don't really like that and that's not the original way. There's also uh, M Dual. Um, I've used this once, and it was like a couple years ago. I'm not sure how I used it, but I used it. Um, as you can see, the uh, words are popping up on the street signs, which is good. Um, but yeah, I found that when I was doing this earlier, M Binary worked best for me because everything just popped up and worked perfectly. As you can see, street signs are all there. Sky is perfectly there. And one last thing before I let you guys go on this simple video, um, you can set the color scale things as well. So be prepared for this one, guys. It's gonna be kind of creepy. I mean, it's a couple days past Halloween, but we're gonna keep. It's gonna get creepy, okay? So do self dot or uh, self dot ttc dot set color scale, and we're gonna put two fifty five zero zero one. Now, if you guys know RGB as, you'll understand what this is about to do. But uh, I'm just gonna show you what this is gonna do. Now it looks pretty, actually looks pretty scary. Uh, what it did was it just changed everything to red. It put a red filter on everything that's on the TTC object, which is this whole playground besides this guy. And it's very creepy. And so um, to do these numbers, what these mean is this is the red value, the green value, the blue value, and then this A value is just transparency. So. Uh, Actually, I don't know. I really didn't mess with this before. Let's see what this does. As you can see, it kind of disappeared. Uh, it kind of disappeared because it's transparency. Let's put it at a higher value. It's not one. And there it's back. Uh, it's still kind of transparent a little bit. Um, let's see if I can get it to fade really well. 0.4. No, maybe not. Let's try 0.5. Let's see what 0.5 does. There it is right there. It's still kind of uh, transparent a little bit. Uh, as you can see, like, looks different over there. Uh, the water's not there. It just looks different right along there. So, put this back at one so you have everything that sh everything showing. And, yeah, see the water's back. The street signs look fine. And so, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. It's a pretty simple video. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Shout out to FK Fallen for the question. I uh, hope I answered that for you, FK Fallen. If you guys have any more questions, like I just said, leave that in the comments below. If you guys like to keep up with all the videos that I post, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And it's a, it's a ton of support, and I appreciate the support that comes with subscribing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Sam is out.